the ones who really put in the most time are often a little bit crazy. I think a few of the memorial societies ran into that. I, I, I'm not naming names, believe me. You know. This organization is fun. You made it yep. fun. When your first version of your yeah, book yeah. was published. You're caring for your own dead. Well, that was the original. And so it was really written in 86, but copyrighted in 87. How did you birth the idea? Well, I had no money. Mother so, of invention. <laughs> exactly. I mean, not only that, I had done t natural childbirth. And so it was, it was the extension of the natural childbirth idea. Um, it's just the other end of the spectrum. I, you, and you didn't have any money, right? And so you figured out almost on the spot how to research how to do it, right? You've talked about this. It was Wait. discussed in your writer's group. Somebody else had researched it, right? Yeah, the, the people in my, well, it was one of the writers in my writer's group that wrote about caring for your own dead. Mm. And mm. what Sally wrote in her writer's group and what I, I basically took that idea into my head and had it on hand when I needed it. Um, so it was all accidental. It, he died unexpectedly, right? Yep. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so it was like a lot of research right away and uh, managed to do it. Yeah, so because of you, we don't have to be figuring it out on the spur of the moment. It We we can be ready, whereas you were like, you well, know, figuring it out. One of, one of the treasures of my memory <laughs> that I still uh, retain is a woman who read the first edition of my book and said it gave her the power to do what she had needed to know but hadn't known and it, it empowered her and it, it the fact that empowerment uh, was out there gave me more of a high than anything I could imagine. Yes. Um, it's not doing for someone, it's enabling them to do for themselves. Yes. And that, that was a real high. And it still is a real high. I mean, if and when I ever get a call now, and I still do. Wow. Um, Knowing that I've given people the ability to do for themselves um, it's something that gives them a sense of power uh, is wonderful. What? <laughs> that makes me want to sing the song I have for you, The Rebel Girl. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Oh, just love it. The original tune and lyrics are written by the genius songwriter Joe Hill. First time I heard it, I felt like it was about me. And that the more I sang it, I was about, I was like, this is about Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> so here you go. She's there by your side. She's unequaled anywhere. And I'm proud <laughs> to fight for freedom with a rebel girl. Yes, her hands may be tired from writing and her story like none you will find cause the heart in her bosom is beating for the truth that inspires the mind so the grafters of funerals are trembling <laughs> when her clever defiance she hurls for the only truth telling lady is the rebel girl She's the rebel girl, that's the rebel girl, to the culture worn, she's a precious pearl. From Maine to Georgia, you'll see her fighting for you and for me. She's there by your side with her courage and pride, she's unequaled anywhere. 
And I'm proud to fight for freedom with a rebel girl. <laughs> No, you realize that Lisa used to do singing telegrams too. That was, that, that was a long time. There you go, that's your song. <laughs> <laughs>